channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. This look was inspired by Sagittarius since it is currently Sagittarius season. This is actually part of my Earth Sign Zodiac horoscope makeup series here on my channel. This is actually the last look on that series so make sure to check out those other videos. I will link the other videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos you might as well subscribe to my channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you guys are interested in learning how to get this look then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so first I'm priming my face with this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. Then jumping straight to my brows, I'm trying to create a straighter brow shape. I first started off with a brow powder but ended up using this Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Liner for more intensity. Then I cleaned up the brows and primed my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. And then I set down that concealer with some face powder. Moving on to my eyes, I am using this shade called Barcelona Beach by Makeup Geek as my transition shade. Now for the star of the show, I'm taking this shade called Retrograde from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and applying that all over my lids. For the eyeliner, I decided to first use an old liner pen to slightly map out the shape that I was going for. I then mixed the middle three shadows in this row of the Morphe 35R palette with my Inglot Dura Line to create my own custom brown liner. Then with a small angled brush, I slowly traced over the lines I had previously mapped out. I wanted the eyeliner to resemble an arrow, so I created a sharp arrow on the inner corners and on the wing, I drew three triangular lines like this. I also smudged this eyeliner on the bottom lash line. Then taking the retrograde shade again, I smudged it on my lower lash line as well. For my brow bone highlight, I used the shade Afterglow in the Pure Cosmetics Bronze and Brighten palette. Then for foundation, I used a combination of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in Cream Beige and mixed that with the Becca Cosmetics Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. As always, I'm first going in with a foundation brush for maximum coverage and then blending out any brush strokes with my beauty sponge. For concealer, I went back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and then set down my face with the Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. I then applied the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder in the same areas I used the concealer to brighten up my face a bit. To contour my face, I used the Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. And for blush, I applied the shade Unstoppable from the Real Her Blush Kit. I wanted more of a monochromatic look, so I went back in with the eyeshadow in Retrograde with a fluffy brush and I gently applied it in the areas I usually highlight. And then on the high points of my face, I used the same shadow but with a smaller, denser brush for a more concentrated application. Next, I used this Jante Bleu eyeliner in Dark Brown for my waterline and tightline. I didn't have a dark brown lipstick with me, so I improvised by applying the dark brown side of this dual-ended shadow stick by Rimmel called Kissed by a Rose Gold. Then I went back into retrograde and applied it to the center of my lips. Next, I curled my lashes, applied some Butter London Double Decker Mascara, and added some falsies for extra drama. Finally, I'm using this Mario Badescu Facial Spray to help my makeup all melt together. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!